noticed you weren't with the after school yoga class. So, yeah, I thought you might have gone to take a short walk or something, but I never saw you come back. Outrageous, you'd leave me on my own for so long. <laughs> oh, how many hours have passed without your presence? The horror. <clears throat> so, I figured I'd come outside and look for you in case you were alone. Looks like I was right as always. <laughs> Bleh. Hmm? Why'd I come looking for you? Because I wanted to talk to you, dummy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did. You know I love talking to you. No need to tease. Uh, so, are you gonna tell me what's on your mind, or do I have to ask why I found you alone? Outside. Staring into the void with an empty look in your eyes. Ah, come on, tell me, please. No, I can't resist. Look into my eyes, into my very soul. You're under my hypnotic case. Okay, tell me what's up. <laughs> huh? Hey. Hey, you can talk to me about anything. You know that, right? I don't want to force you if you don't want to talk. But I don't want you to feel like you can't talk. You know? And you know how much I hate being serious. But, I mean... I know you kind of struggle with opening up. But I'm here. For you. No stringies attached. Other than I get a piggyback from time to time, because I'm lazy. <laughs> uh, yes, of course I'm here for you. So, um, do you feel like telling me what you've been thinking about the whole time you've been out here? Oh, uh, uh, um. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see. Oh. Okay. I'm... I... I don't know what to say. I didn't know things were that bad. I, um... appreciate you being able to tell me, and I'm very relieved that you feel comfortable enough to open up about these things to me. Really, I mean it. I know I can come off as sarcastic or whatever, but... I find it hard to be serious, but it's, I can, yeah, it makes me happy that I can be here for you. I can't say I felt exactly what you're feeling. Empathy and sympathy are two different things, and I don't know what's going on to make you feel like this, but I want you to know you're not alone, okay? Even if you feel like you don't have anyone else, I'm here for you. No, 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 no. I promise you're not a bother. You're not bothering me by being true to yourself and speaking up. You know I'm not like that. Bottling up emotions never helped anyone. There's a difference between controlling and concealing. I like being able to help. Especially if it's for you. Why? Because I... N d don't worry about it. I'm here for you right now. <laughs> no, you can't turn this around on me. I'm supposed to be helping you and trying to make you feel better. Uh, okay, okay, fine. But no um, teasing or mentioning this again. If you're having a bad time, you know my dumb ass is right here with you having a bad time too. Cause when the going gets tough, I suppose we just ought to get going together. Then when we're feeling all good and juiced up on the other side, we can go again. Stalling? Me. Never. Okay, I... It's nothing huge. I mean, I just, I kind of, maybe, sort of, 
I'm definitely like you. A lot. Oh, I, so of course there's a friend, you dork. <laughs> Wait, no, no, that's, that's not what I mean. Uh, no, I meant like, well, yeah, of course you're my friend. I, I mean more like, I mean like you as, as uh, more than a friend. Yeah, I do. What do you mean? Why do I like you? Have you ever been friends with you? <laughs> Who else is gonna send me memes at 3 a.m.? Well, you're always very kind to me and thoughtful and always know what to say and when to say it to, you know, cheer me up or something. You always seem to enjoy being around me, which makes me feel really wanted and appreciated. Even if I do make you listen to my music, or show you YouTube videos you have no interest in. <laughs> I am assured you'd worry for me if you knew I was ever struggling with things. Even if I never came out and told you, you just kinda get it. You would always make sure I was okay if I was ever feeling a little down. You even put my feelings first before you own which, by the way, should not be doing. <laughs> Repeat after me. Who's the most important? Maybe I shouldn't stutter when I'm trying to give a pep talk. Repeat after me. Who's the most important person? Me. Yes. Repeat the me part. Me. Then whoever else, because you should always be number one for yourself. Yes, you need to care for yourself too, you goofball. And by my royal decree, you must do as I say. Got it? Uh. Hmm? Oh, it wasn't long before I realized I started looking forward to seeing you every day. Getting excited any time my phone went off and feeling even better when I saw it was a message from you. You know, that meme that's like, when you get a message, but it's from the wrong person. Uh, basically that. Oh, also, <laughs> I'd catch myself watching you in class sometimes. Oh, I'd also get worried if you were ever absent or late. Like, oh my god, where is he? What happened? Is he okay? That, and how dare you leave me alone at school. This place is seriously boring enough without you. Hmm? What do I... Uh, do you really not understand yet? Uh, the time is right, the mood is... Alright, let me just show you. Hmm. Hmm. There. Do you get it now? I'm in love with you. By the way, you're kissing me back. I like to think you do as well. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, you don't know how happy this makes me and relieved. Too much effort to find someone better than you. You're already S tier. <laughs> part where, you know, I call you my, um, boyfriend. <laughs> when did you get so confident? Hey, 
So, um, I don't want to ruin the mood, but are you feeling any better than you were earlier? Yeah? Because <laughs> of me? <laughs> Do you want to go back inside now? It's starting to get a little cold. We could um, always go back to mind warm if you want. Watch a movie together and uh, maybe some snuggles. <laughs> yeah? Well, in that case, catch me if you can. Mwah.